In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the software called Handbrake. It's a free download. You can see the URL up here, handbrake.fr. You can just Google Handbrake. Uh, maybe if you Google it, there will be an ad that comes up for Wondershare, but you don't want that. You want the Handbrake, the free Handbrake, and you'll notice there's a little pineapple as the logo. Uh, it works on multiple platforms. You can see here in the downloads, and um, they're constantly upgrading it. So. It's good software. Let's go on over and um, quit that real quick. There we go. So um, here's Handbrake. This is what the window looks like. Um, I've got my DVD in already, and my DVD is not a copywritten DVD. It doesn't have the copy protection that a lot of the DVDs from uh, the States or from Europe will have on them. Uh, so this DVD will rip pretty easily. And uh, But if you have a protected DVD, there's other things you'll probably need to do. I won't cover that in this tutorial. So let's just walk through the window here with Handbrake. You've got your source up here. It just means to choose the video source. And uh, it'll spin up the DVD. And I'm just going to, you just select the disc. You don't have to open it or anything like that. You just select it and click open. It'll scan it, and then it'll tell me how many titles are on there, so if there's multiple videos on there um, or multiple languages or things like that, it's it's looking for all of that. Okay, so of course it's telling me my source is G, which you can also see up here in my uh, finder window that it's G. So let's go back into Handbrake here. The title is only, there's only one title, it's two hours, 53 minute run time there. Um, if you've got multiple titles and you're wanting the main title, There'll probably be some that are shorter, um, and then there's this one that's longer. Angle, usually you want to stick with one. You can choose to encode certain um, fragments and uh, seconds or frames. Chapters is definitely the easiest. So um, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to do chapter 14 because it's the shortest one that I've found so far. Um, and then I want to choose where I want this to save to. And so I'm just going to choose... Um, example chapter 14 and um, this over here this little s preset window here this little you can kind of hide it or bring it out I'm going to choose um, this Android tablet I think that's probably going to give me the most uh, compatibility across the board and that's what I'm looking for here is compatibility um, it gives me an mp4 file instead of the m4v, which might have trouble. And um, see, it sets up a few things with the uh, picture settings and stuff like that. I'm not going to really mess with any of the encoding here. What I do want to double check is, uh, since this is an international DVD, which language do I want it in? And so right here, there's, you know, there's up to eight languages on a DVD. There can be up to eight languages. So I, I want the English for this. Um, but let's say I was... Uh, wanting to give it to someone who needed to learn English, so maybe I would actually burn in the subtitles. That's what you can do in the subtitle tab. You can choose to actually burn it in. You see this little tick box here, burned in, and that means that the uh, subtitle file that's on the DVD will play and will encode. I'll show you here in the preview window. Um, now the preview window is going to show us what the file is going to look like after it's um, been compressed. Um, and uh, so, you know, if it's going to be a different size or maybe the pictures you want to adjust the f just to make it a better picture, this is where you can check to see what your adjustments have done before you actually go through the encoding process. And it plays with audio. Let's see, it's got the... Uh, the subtitles on it, and that's what we want to see. Okay, so um, the advanced, you don't need to bother with that. If you want to rename the chapter titles, if you're going to do more than one chapter at a time, you could actually rename the chapter titles. Instead of chapter one, chapter two, you could actually put unique chapter titles in there. We're gonna, we can just hit start here, or it would start, or we could add it to the queue if we wanted to do multiple individual files from the same disk. But I'm just gonna hit start and let it go. And then it gives us our progress bar across the bottom. 
Okay, we're back and this encode is almost finished. Okay, it looks like our encode is finished and go ahead and click out of that and we're done with Handbrake for now. And we're going to check the file. We click and spacebar to preview on a Mac and it brings up what we want. Let's see, there's subtitles. Yep, there's subtitles. And that's how you do a Handbrake DVD rip.